G'day guys and welcome back to Quick Math. Today we're going to be talking about how to find the percentage change of something using this thing called the box method. And really all it is is a very useful scaffold that's going to keep popping up again and again in maths. So I would highly recommend getting on top of it just because it will be something that will help you all the way through to year 12. So the question we could have is what is 5% of 40? We know how to work this out very easily by timesing it by 0.05, but we're going to see how we could do this in a different fashion. Okay, so what these two boxes mean is that we've got our physical numbers on this side. Okay, in this first column, we're going to have our physical numbers, and in this side, we're going to have our percentages. You do not need to write these down, right, as we go through proper examples, but just for this first one, we'll have it there just to make sure. In the bottom corner, we know that we've got 100% always. We've got 100%, and that's, what we, uh, that's our initial amount. And we've been told that our initial amount is 40. So the box is just saying that 40 equals 100%, okay? And we're trying to find... 5%. So that's what we're looking for. So this comes down to the, the idea that whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So if I want to change this 100% into 5%, okay, just using operations of times and divide, I could see that I have to divide this by 20. If you are struggling to find out what number to divide by, you can use your calculator, okay? So if I go 100 divided by five, that gives me the answer of 20, and that's what I need to divide by, okay? So this principle of whatever happens to one side must happen to the other applies here. So if I've divided this by 20, I know on this side, I've got to do the exact same thing and divide 40 by 20, which gives me the answer of two. So 5%, of 40 is equal to two, and that is my final answer. We're gonna see it in a slightly harder example, but I guarantee you this will be able to help you out at some point, okay? So this time we've got 170% of 20, so we've gotta increase our number. So I know that we've been given 100%, and that's equal to 20, okay? So the whole of our original number is 20, which is 100%. And I've got to change it to 170%. So I need to multiply this thing by 1.7. Again, if you're struggling to find out how to, which number you've got to multiply by, if you do this top one divided by the bottom, it'll give you 1.7, which is telling us what to multiply by. Because I've done that on one side, I have to do it on the other side. I've got to times 20 by 1.7 which is equal to 34. And that is my answer. And that's all the working you need to do, okay? This is gonna be really, really, really helpful in two-step percentage problems, okay, which we are gonna see in the next video, okay? It helps us with our problem solving and just make sure that your ideas and your knowledge is put really clearly onto the page. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you later. I hope you guys found that helpful. Just a reminder that there are some free worksheets attached in the description below relating to this very topic. I also put up a PDF of the notes so you don't have to copy them from the video. If you do need any additional help, please don't be scared to send me an email. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for some more quick math.